not exactly the party I had in mind for this fight. Although I don't think- oh, you can't swap out, okay. Sorry, Kimari, but you're just, like, not useful. At all. Wings start to flicker. I think you can just like grind here forever if you really wanted to. Like if you wanted to, you could just grind out sin scales until the end of days. Oh, I should have cheered. No, not Lulu. Sin. Thank you. <laughs> it takes so long to fly back. Should have cheered, damn. I don't think Velfor can hit him. I and mean, I guess he can cast black magic, but I don't think his ultimate will hit him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any ranged overdrives. This possibly does, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, you can just sit here and kill these things endlessly. If you have, you know, the, the time, I guess. And I actually wanted to just sit here and kill these things forever. You have flickering wings? Wow. Could have killed it, but instead you did 199 to an enemy with 200 HP. Good job, Titus. Yeah, why couldn't you have done that much damage earlier? If I remember correctly, if you'd leave one of these alive... He never respawns more, so you only have to ever deal with one. So I can just swap out for Yuna. And just have Waka and Lulu hit it. I mean, I guess unless Lulu runs out of MP for some reason. Does that mean it's dead? No? Just moving around. Nah, 500 health left. <laughs> Does anyone need health? No? Uh... Shoot, how do I make you guard? There we go. Guard is the, uh... Y or I could think triangle. 
if you're using a PlayStation controller. Come on, Waka. 50 damage off. Forty-five damage off. Now comes the hard part. The underwater fight. Alright, here we go. Time for the first actually difficult boss fight in this entire game. Because apparently only Waka and Titus can swim. No one else who is from an island, mind you, learned how to swim. Not Lulu. Kimaria makes sense, I guess, but Lulu and Yuna, they can't swim? How am I supposed to believe that? From downtown. It's an mission for a potion, not a phoenix down, right? It wasn't dead. Just hurt. Goodbye, dolphins. They should just grab the dolphins and swim away. All right, this fight is a pain in the ass. All right, so start off boost defense. No, I'm gonna blind this guy so he doesn't heal himself. With that, that miss animation looks so ridiculous. I don't think that the sin scales ever go away. I think they just keep respawning, so we're just gonna bang on Hercules. Whatever this guy's name is. At Etrulus? I don't know, something like that. Yeah, there we go, more just swimming. Whoop. Make sure the darkness stays on. Oh, blender. Love that. Oh, darkness fell off, gotta reply that. Gotta make sure you keep dark up, or else the drain touch actually hits you and you heal him every time. Have Waka heal himself. Oh, this fight's such a pain. I think as long as you keep uh, darkness up on the main sin spawn and hope that RNG favors you so he doesn't actually touch you, you should be fine. Nice crit. Good job, Waka. Oh wait, Wa is Waka out of MP now? Which means I can't reapply darkness after this. Damn. Yep. Shit, that's not good. Oh, okay. I guess I could have just hit him and beat him. Don't have a sensor weapon. Hard to tell when they're about to die. Now I think we have lots and lots of cutscenes. 
because Kiligo gets destroyed, and then we have the Sending and all that stuff. Yeah, I didn't, but you can just grind those um, Sin Scales on the boat just endlessly if you want money and XP for whatever reason. Goodbye, kitties. This scene's brutal. I guess you just see the blitz ball fly by, implying that the kids are just fucking dead. You actually see these people get taken off though, but they can't show the kids dying, because I think that's like... ...against the law in a lot of countries. To show children dying. Well, I guess in theory they just showed that kid get taken away. And there's the blitz ball. Those three children were playing with. Rip kids. When Sin attacks Anarkin that day, I woke up in Spira. I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. I was just fooling myself. Maybe it was that day, on the sea, under the burning sun. I started to give up hope. I was in a foreign world. I wasn't going home. This was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. I've always wondered why the map comes up there to remind you that you're in Kilika. Maybe so you remember the name of the place that got destroyed because it's been a while since they showed you the map. Greetings. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the temple in Besaid. Oh, Milady Summoner. Milady. There is no other summoner here. Tips for Dora. To perform the sending. Ah, oh, thanks be to you. Our loved ones. We feared they would become fiends. Please, take me to them. I don't remember. Do we ever get a confirmation that uh, if they don't get sent, they actually become fiends? We'll go see what we can do to help in town. Huh? Or is that just speculation? It's been a while since I played this game. Not too uh, up to date on the lore. They start like, what? Why is he sawing? Dado, what are you doing, buddy? What are you? It's already destroyed enough. Why are you sawing at it? The hammer, I understand. But what's with the saw? Now we get like the. I'm pretty sure they use this cutscene and um, advertising and stuff. Descending. Are we going somewhere? <sighs> you truly are clueless. Are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem? Hey, calm down, Lulu. The dead need guidance. Filled with grief over their own death, they refuse to face their fate. They yearn to live on and resent those still alive. You see, they envy the living. And in time, 
that envy turns to anger, even hate. Should these souls remain in Spira, they become fiends that prey on the living. Sad, isn't it? The sending takes them to the far plane, where they may rest in peace. Summoners do this? Hmm. Yeah, this scene right here. It's like one of the most famous scenes from this entire uh, game. Also didn't realize when I was a kid that those are all coffins that she's walking over. Pretty dark. I'm not sure if it affects the, um, the cutscenes or not, but I am playing with the original music on. As much as I do like the orchestral stuff that they did with the HD remaster, the original is just has a place in my heart. Especially the battle theme. Must be tough being a summoner. Yuna chose her own path. She knew from the beginning what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way until the end. Might even say you would guard her. End? Mm. What's the end? Love how everyone stares at him like he's a <sighs> Complete moron. Until she defeats Sin. Oh. I hope... I hope I did okay. <sighs> you did very well. I mean, it looked pretty You've dope. reached the far plane by now, but no tears next time, mm hmm uh. I wished... There would never be a next time. No more people being killed by sin. No more sendings for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. If wishes were fishes. Strange, and somehow horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. This is the part in the game where Titus actually grows a heart. Still missing a brain, however. I don't think he gets a brain until he plays Blitzball again. Oh, that's not the shop. I thought the inn was the shop. Hey, Dotto! You awake? Captain Walker's waiting for you. You're like one of the best players on the team, dude. Save the little girl. Always remember to save the little girl. 
I think the tumble's a bit dramatic. I'm not sure that he actually had to tumble to save her. They look like he had his footing pretty, uh... Pretty well set there. Once again, why are you sawing at the stair? What are you doing? Like, do you know how this works? <laughs> the town the town was just destroyed by a giant monster. Why are you sawing the freaking staircase open? Story of my life, lady. Tell me about it, man. At least you can get sent a thousand years in the future. Yeah, stop sawing at that. Where we pray for victory. Go! High Summoner O'Holland used to live in the Kilika Temple here. Yep, Lord O'Holland was once a great blitzer, you know. Waka. Hmm? Flocka. Praying for victories, all good. Ugh, but is this right? Something wrong with enjoying Blitzball? Is this really the time? This is the only time. The players fight with all their strength. The fans cheer for their favorite team. They forget pain, suffering. Only the game matters. That's why Wise words. has been around for so long. At least that's what I think. Whatever you say. Extremely wise words. And win. Right? From, like, honestly one of the slower characters right. in this series. Tempo Mentally. The jungle there. Let's go. You know. Waka might not be bright, but at least he understands that giving people something to rally behind after a uh, tragedy helps them with their suffering. 